This battery head strap from Kiwi Design helps solve the poor battery life of the Quest 3, but how long does it last? Does it buzz? Is it comfy? And why has it got this round magnet on the charge fly lead? Thanks to Kiwi Design for sending this to me, let's take a look. The head strap straight out of the box is really easy to assemble and attach. First clip the rear head pad in place here, and this is really nice and thick. You then have a really nice thick padded top strap as well. You can now take the facial interface off of your Quest 3, and to take the original stock head strap off, twist each one gently off of each arm. Now clip the Kiwi arms to the headset, and then thread the top Velcro strap through this slot here. Now replace your facial interface and plug in the USB-C plug into the headset. And you've got this cable holder included in the box as well, which stops the cable sticking out too much and keeps the headset tidy. But looks aren't everything, how comfortable is it? The strap has this padded section at the back that cups nicely around the back of your head. And there's a big dial on the back so you can easily tighten the headset to suit your head size and quickly loosen it when you want to take it off. And even though it's a ratchet style design dial, you can still push it in to close the headset quickly. I actually really like this dial design. I play on my headset quite frequently with my son and it's just so much more convenient being able to easily switch the dial, take the headset off, swap the headset over and then easily adjust it again. You can do it in, in seconds and there's no faffing around. With the standard head strap, there's so much faffing around when you take the headset on and off and if you're swapping it over with your friends or your family, it's just a real faff. It's really nice having this extra hinge on the headset as well because it gives you slightly more adjustment so you can adjust the front of the headset, but more importantly, you can flip it up easily, keep the headset on, have a conversation with somebody that's coming in the room and then just flip it back down again when you're ready to play. And it makes it a lot easier for putting the headset on as well because you can flip the headset up, put the headset on the back of your head and you don't have to scrape the lenses over the top of your hair. So you just put it on over the back of your head and then just flip the front down and it's done. It's obviously bulkier at the back than the standard head strap because this is where we have the built-in battery. But the benefit here is that it does give you a bit of counterbalance. But to be honest, the battery isn't that heavy, so it gives you some counterbalance, but not loads. Just for comparison, the standard strap is 57 grams. The Quest 3 official Elite strap is 155 grams. And this Kiwi Design battery strap is 382 grams. So it is obviously heavier, but you don't notice that added weight while you're playing. When you plug the battery strap in, it does start charging the headset straight away and there's no on or off switch. So if you don't want it to charge your head strap, then you have to unplug it. But this is designed to keep your headset fully charged and ideally you would use it with the Kiwi Design charge stand. And that is what this round magnet connector is for. It has pass through charging so when you put it on the stand you'll charge both the headset and the head strap. So you'll always have enough charge to play whenever you need it. And if you haven't got the charge stand then to charge the head strap you just use the USB-C socket at the back here. And this will charge both the headset and the strap at the same time. I played some games for a few hours with the Quest headset fully charged and the battery strap was fully charged and I plugged it in straight away just to see how the battery performed. The battery is 6,400 milliamp hour and it does a really good job of keeping the headset charged while you play. I didn't use it continuously, but with breaks, I got an extra three hours gameplay. So depending on what you play, you could get a total of four to six hours gameplay altogether. And I used the headset at different volumes and experienced no buzzing noises. The battery strap costs around $59.99, so it's competitively priced. And it comes with this decent sized lens cloth, and I didn't even get that with my 600 pound Quest 3 headset. The back of the head strap is a similar design to the MetaQuest Elite strap, but I did find it more comfortable than the Elite strap, and I think that was down to the thicker straps. Along with the addition of the hinge and the slightly heavier back end, which give, did give you a slightly better counterbalance. The nature of the design of this head strap does mean that you're still winding the back end and pushing the headset onto your face, but I won't mind that. And if you didn't like that design, you'd go for something like a halo strap. If you haven't seen the Kiwi Design Charge Stand, you can watch this video next. And if you want more tips for your Quest 3, then you can watch this video and I'll see you over there.